Passengers have thinned out on New York subways, but that's no assurance to many people who need the ride. It's really hard right now. It's really scary. I mean, if I got to do a level of 1 to 10, right now it could be at like a 9. If there's a lot of homeless people on the trains, and you know you're supposed to do social distancing. So either you got to wait for the next train or you got to go to a different cart. So that's my main issue so far. We know you because we don't listen. That's the, that's the problem. Keeping your distance from others. Experts agree that social distancing combined with aggressive testing of suspected cases is the fastest way to tackle COVID-19. But there aren't enough tests for the job in New York and elsewhere in the U.S. New York's governor says companies now cannot provide the numbers needed. Good. We need uh, an unprecedented mobilization where government can produce these tests in the millions. President Trump pointed to progress in the numbers of new cases. Now on the other side, you have the numbers of beds being used, we're just saying, are substantially reduced. That's usually the sign that it's heading in the downward curve. But the death toll continues to mount. Hundreds in New York die every day. Hospitals are repurposing refrigerator trucks as makeshift morgues. And in the city's reserved site for unmarked graves, burials have spiked. The weekly average is now being reached every day. The rise is being attributed to COVID-19.